Wave form. Form and waves. Doing the wave. Wave form. Appar damn, apparently, mother... British, British people think that the wave is the Mexican wave for some reason. Really? Yeah. I, I saw it on the Austin Games Done Quick. <laughs> like, because people would send in donations, right? And, uh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I They'd give them that. requests and, or whatever. Mm. And one guy was like, hey, shout out to the UK. Um, I want everyone in the room to do the Mexican wave. And everybody was just like, what the fuck is the Mexican wave? And just <laughs> one guy Googled it and like 10 minutes later, he was just like, oh, by the way, they just mean the wave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so welcome back to CNA Gameplay. We're talking about awesome games done quick. This really cool cancer charity thing done in January every year. Mm -hmm. And there's another one called Summer Games Done Quick that actually starts up in a couple weeks. So hopefully this episode will actually air before then, because that would be really cool. Is that by the Quick Done Quick people? Uh, no. Okay. They're unrelated. Oh, I see. As far as I know. Um, the Summer Games Done Quick starts on July 25th and goes through the 29th. And what it is, is it's a bunch of speedrunners, usually the world record holders, in one room, and they just do this marathon for four days, three or four days straight, one guy after another, of running these different games. And you can learn a lot of the interesting stuff. Some things are really fun or funny to watch. It's pretty cool. We are currently competing in the croc bracket. The croc bracket? Yeah. You've just been running around in circles for like two minutes here. Should I go through the door? Sure, why not? We've got the 5k on worlds. Yeah. Still a couple of them at large, but... Oh, what's this? Um, boss? Jello! 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 That's what it sounds like. No. <laughs> Alright. So what was that thing in the air? Is this actually a bo No, this is... Sweet. Alright. Oh yeah, because you found that key. And now you've got six gobos. Yeah! And one croc. Yay. Press X. There you go. So welcome back to Super Mario FX, the game. <laughs> where Alex is doing stuff. And I am watching. Super Croc FX. Nah, um, the demo that they made on the Super Nintendo of this, that starred Yoshi and Croc yeah. Spot there. Um was actually tentatively titled Super Mario FX, and it was intended to be just like this. This was the prototype for it. And, uh... Nintendo was like, nah. Because at the time, they had not yet ever licensed any of their actual characters to a second or third party to use before. And they were very wary about it. So they were like, nah. And, yeah. They destroyed a pretty sweet relationship doing that, too. Yep, it was pretty much the final nail in the coffin. And Argonaut basically taught them how to do 3D, and they just shoot them up and spit them out. Remind me of this guy's here when we find a key. Okay. There's a dude in the hole. That sounded wrong. <laughs> Have you gotten used to the controls yet? Kinda, yeah. It's, uh... You should have used that to get on that platform. You're right, you know. Probably could have gone on it from this side too had you turned around. Oh well. Oh, Good job, Elmo. losing your rings. Oh well. I'm sure there's nothing good up there. Probably so, just one of the five Chaos Emeralds. So yeah, um, Super Mario FX. The only time it was ever talked about to the public was, I believe, in Nintendo Power, there was one screenshot of upcoming... It was a whole thing about uh, Super FX games. It used the Super FX chip, which was developed by Argonaut to do 3D. It, it was basically the first um, GPU. And it was de developed by Argonaut specifically for Argonaut games and used by Nintendo. The only non-Argonaut game that used it, I think, was Yoshi's Island. That was the only one that... Argonaut did not actually develop on their own. Doom also used it. Oh, yeah, Doom. And uh, there was one screenshot er, of a list. They weren't actually pictures of games. It was just a list of upcoming Super FX games, and one of them was about that prototype demo for Shit. Mario FX, and the other one was 
Star Fox 2, and then there was a couple others, like Stunt Race FX, and I forgot what else, but yeah. I need to stop talking for a minute, I'm really thirsty. <laughs> so. I would have liked to see Super Mario FX. Hopefully... You're playing it. I would have liked to see the actual thing. You're playing it. I, I really don't <laughs> think that this is exactly the same as it would have been. Uh, it's very close. Very, very, very close. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but was, you're playing as Yoshi, so whatever. Okay. What's the? No, oh, there it is. Yeah, there's question mark. Yeah. Blocks. Basically, Nintendo was like, mm, "We don't like that you're doing that." Also, um. <laughs> Shouting lava, lava, lava. I don't know what she did there, but like there was a loud noise in the thing when you like hit the controller or whatever it is you did. I don't know. I have no idea. It was right before you did shout and blah blah blah. But anyway. Um Anyway. Why don't you talk? I do pretty much all the talking on these things. That's because you're better at talking. Then why are you even here? <laughs> I have no idea. I was under the impression that there was free food. Oh, uh, nope. So if you can't tell from this gameplay, Croc controls really fucking weird. They remember that from the first episode. <laughs> but just seeing it, like, I couldn't comprehend until actually putting it in my... Oh, for fuck's sake. I this one. I want to say, yeah, I want to say that. Oh, we have to pound them. Hey, hey, good job. Oh, we wow. did it. That was actually a completely random guess. I was really certain, but at the same time, it seemed very random. <laughs> so, yeah, you should, like, tell a story or something. Be entertaining. Sing a song. I'm not gonna sing a song. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, I know nobody oh. heard that, but Casey just said, Oh, come on, Alex, I know you have a lovely singing voice. Ah, the key. Hey. Ah, motherfucker. That rat has a billion eyes. Did you see that? I did. Come on, get it. Look at... Okay. Where's the... There it is. Look at that. What oh, the they're, fuck? Oh, they're like eyes, but then they have tusks underneath. I do not like this. They are creepy bastards. How do I camera? You don't. Jesus Christ, Croc. I'm trying to get... Uh. Push the block over there. Oh, can I push it? Oh, I guess it's I can. It's got fucking arrows on it, and there's a path on the ground. What do you think you can do? I don't know. Have I've you ever played... played... Have you ever played a video game before? Usually they're not so obvious as putting arrows literally on the box. Well... Skylanders is dumb and for kids. Casey just said they are in Skylanders. You gotta remember, they cannot hear him whatsoever. That was cool, the mouse was like inside the box. It's cool how the mouse has no like geometry collision. You just pass through solid objects and harass Croc. Yeah. I mean, oh, Yoshi. You gotta go, There's shit up there. How do I get up there? I don't know. Okay. Turn around. Can I camera up? No. The range on this camera is fucking Ow. minuscule. Probably have to get up there from like outside somewhere. It just takes you in there through a door because there was a door there. See, I'm kind of on a quest to get all of the Super FX games that were actually released. And Star Fox 2, which I already own. <laughs> um, I'm guessing that key is for a different cage, or a different door or something. Sure. For that one that was way back at the beginning, I guess. Maybe, yeah. See, I'm... What are, the other day I bought Stunt Race FX, mm -hmm. and so I've got Stunt Race, I've got Yoshi's Island, I've got Star Fox 1 and 2, 
I don't have Doom. You've got Doom, I don't have Doom. Yeah. What else is there? I'd have to Google it. Can't think of anything else. Um, you have X. Oh, um, X is an Argonaut game on Game Boy, though. Um, this. Oh, yeah, we did that on, on the show. Yeah. Forgot about that. But, yeah, it doesn't have a Super FX chip. It's a Game Boy game. Do you have Cyber Glider for DOS? No. Or whatever that was called? No. The only computer games I own that I can think of are, like, StarCraft, but it's, like, the actual CD, so it's not really compatible with my computer. <laughs> it looks terrible. Even running in compatibility mode, it just kind of doesn't work right. How the hell did I get over there? Oh, it was probably something with that button. Probably. Fuck. I don't know what you're doing. I'm not really paying attention, to be honest. I'm trying to figure out how to get back there and unlock that cage. So yeah, if you guys know what the other FX games are, even though... Oh, we have a list. Thank you, Casey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've got... Dirt. Tracks FX. <laughs> FX Fighter. Or no, it's Dirt Tracks FX, sorry. FX Fighter, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, Stunt Race FX, Super... One is just called Super FX. I'm gonna click that one. Vortex, I have Vortex. Um, so yeah, there's... A, there's... Got that one? I've got Yoshi's I've got Yoshi's Island, Vortex, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, Stunt Race. I don't have Dirt Tracks FX, FX Fighter, or Super FX. What is that? I think it's just talking about the chip. Yeah, it's FX just talking about the Fighter chip. FX Fighter is really bad. You've played it? Yes. Hello, kitty. Um It's sort of like Virtua Fighter, only way worse. Awesome. And I don't know if you've played Virtua Fighter 1, it's I've really seen, bad. I've seen video of it. But yeah, I just need two more games, Dirt Tracks FX and FX Fighter, so... Even though we don't have anybody who... Don't have anybody who watches this show, but if we did, and we could take, you know, people sending it in, I could totally set up a P.O. box and we could make something happen. <laughs> why are you guys laughing? Why, why is that funny? I don't know. Hey, that shit happens. And, oh, Casey just said, Hello, I have a YouTube channel. Thank you for free game. <laughs> but yeah, that shit happens. I mean, look at Game Grumps, even though they got their popularity before Game Grumps even started. Um, yeah, they aren't so grump. They are often grump, though. Yeah, but not so grump. Hey, it's Gax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, we're 41% done with Gax. Fuck yeah. <laughs> no, don't overwrite Gex. Um... Oh, there we go. Yeah, there you go. Good job. <laughs> I didn't realize Gex was actually selected there. So yeah, this what? is just like Gex. It's got passwords and it saves. It's cool. Oh, crazy. And it does a tailspin. <laughs> next, next time on um, Singing Night Gameplay, we're going to talk about Tailspin and Baloo and whatever that kid name was. I, forgot. I don't really remember a lot about that show. Mowgli? Mowgli? No, not you're thinking of you're thinking of um, the movie Jungle Book. I'm oh. talking about Tailspin, the cartoon. I don't remember anything about Tailspin. It was uh, Blue, but he was like a, a pilot, and they had a, a water plane that could land, and there was like this kid, and he was like do 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 Tailspin or something. Oh.